Hi, this is Anthony. Welcome back to my show. As always, before I begin, please click the subscribe button below. It really helps me out and it doesn't cost you anything. Thanks so much. For full disclosure, the stock that I'm talking about today, Crown Castle International, stock symbol CCI, is one that I've owned in the past and made a little money on, but do not currently own at the present. From Wikipedia, we see that Crown Castle is a real estate investment trust and provider of shared communications infrastructure in the United States. Its network includes over 40,000 cell towers and nearly 80,000 route miles of fiber supporting small cells and fiber solutions. And by the way, small cells are those units that are attached to lamp posts and utility poles that you see all over, in particular downtown settings. Headquartered in Houston, Texas, the company has 100 offices nationwide. I'll put more information from that article in the show notes. Be sure to read up on it to know better what the company does. So the title of today's video is... Is this the best penny stock ever? Now, you may look at the chart or the stock price and say, wait a minute, this is not a penny stock. Okay, I have to admit that the title is a bit clickbaity, but not entirely, and here's why. Looking at the first chart, it doesn't show it here, but if you go all the way to the earliest part, it indicates that on August 21st, 1998, CCI was trading at $13 a share. And over the course of the next two and a half years, it got up to just over $40 a share, but then started sliding until August 2002, when it was trading for $1.15 a share. Certainly, a stock trading at $1.15 could be considered a penny stock. Now, sometimes when a stock is split, it will show on the current chart a very low price, but the actual individual share is never traded at that low price, but rather at a split adjusted price relative to today. I have looked at various sites, and it does not look like the CCI has had any stock splits. So that $1.15 a share is what the shares actually were trading at back in 2002. And if you would have bought it when it was issued, or at least in August 1998, and held on to today, you'd be up 1,289% in the past 24 or so years, which is approximately a 53% return per year, if you take the percentage gain and divide it by the number of years. I know that's not exactly how compounded returns work, but it's close enough, and I'm not taking into account the dividends. So looking at the chart, it looks like a pretty great stock, and again, as I pointed out, it's currently paying a dividend of 3.25%. But as you also see here, it has a P.E. ratio of 50.72, which is extremely high. And just for your information, here's the thumbnail of their financials. In the show notes, I'll have a link to their website. And of course, do your own research on all their financials before making any decisions. Let's look at the five-year chart. In the past five years, it's gone up $78.64, which is slightly over a 77% return. 77 divided by 5 gives you a little over 15% annual return which is not a bad rate of return, and again, it's not taking into account the dividend, which is paid quarterly. And again, you're not paid 3.25% each quarter. That is the annualized return, not the quarterly return. This chart shows the year-to-date for CCI. As you can see, it's down $27, or just over 13% year-to-date. And just for comparison, let's look at the year-to-date chart for the S&P 500. Here we see it's down just over 666 points or 13.89%. So in the current bearish market that we're in, CCI is down approximately the same amount as the broad market. And let's look at a chart that shows the five days of the past week. You see that it's up $8.28 or 4.8%. That's a pretty big increase, but again, right now the market is very choppy and a lot of things were up in the last few days especially Amazon and Tesla, which are my two biggest holdings. And just to give you an idea of the quarterly dividend payout, here's three charts that contain the payout history going back a number of years. I'll put the link to these in the show notes. Now, I want to keep this video very short, so I'm going to finish up soon. But what I've shown you are historic charts of price movements as well as dividend payouts. As they say, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future returns, but quite frankly, if something doesn't materially change in the business, it may give some idea of what the future might hold. Again, this is a company that deals with cell towers and small cells and fiber optic lines. It would seem to me that as we progress, especially as the metaverse increases, that we will be using more data, which would bode well for companies like CCI. 
But as always, do your own research for multiple sources of reliable information. Don't just base buy, sell, or hold decisions on what you hear from anybody, including myself, on the internet. Okay, that's all I want to say for today. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. And if you disagree with me, please feel free to point out weaknesses in my arguments. Hopefully by now you've subscribed to this channel and liked the video. I would love it if you looked at my other videos. Hopefully click the like button on those and leave a comment, even a short one. All those things really help me out in building a following. As I always mention, this is not investment advice and I'm not an investment advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet that you don't know making YouTube videos that hopefully provide some entertainment. But I try to create entertainment that gives you a starting point where you can do your own research and potentially find stocks that might have some place in your well-diversified long-range portfolio. Since this channel is not yet monetized, if you want to help me out, I sell small collectibles on eBay. Things like old stock and bond certificates, coins and banknotes, stamps and postal items and books, along with other things such as Masonic items. You can find my items on eBay with my username stock underscore tycoon. If you're interested in buying silver coins as collectibles or investments, I usually have some listed. If you're interested in investing in gold or silver as a commodity, I have a few YouTube videos that explain how you can easily do that, plus some of the pitfalls in doing so. I'm on Instagram at Anthony RR Mills. You can follow me there. Thanks for watching and good luck in investing.